Hi guys, welcome back to the debater. And today I'm going to be talking about Netflix recent release show called The Sandman. It's based on a DC comic bit written by Neil Gaiman, who is probably one of the best creative writers of our time now. And before you start watching my non-spoiler review, please make sure you like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you want to see um, my other review with spoilers, please check that out as well. But um, let's get started. So as you know, if you don't know what the Sandman is, it's about um, Morpheus, who is also known as Dream. He's been, he is an He's basically like a godlike creature called the Endless. And he has been captured by humans and he's been held prisoner for more than a century. And he must, and once he's released, he must um, fix all the problems and chaos that's happening around the world. Now, for non-spoilers, I'm gonna try to keep it hard because there's been a lot to progress. And it's really, this show is a very interesting take because if you know Neil Gaiman, you know like um, you know some of the creative books he's done. He's done American Gods. He's done Court Line, Stardust. He did some very supernatural stories, and he did he twisted them like some light, like some dark, but he did them really well. And for one of them, I really love is um, Lucifer. And if you know, I love the show as well. It's brilliant. Please check that out as well. And. For this, I was expecting it to be a bit like Lucifer as well. I, I, there was a few hints of it, and um, but it has its original, has its original um taste in it. The Sandman is um, it's very unique. It has its own kind of um, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but it's it's really good. It's very different compared to other shows, if you like. So for this, um, in the characters in it. So our main character, Morpheus, the Dream Lord, he's um he's an endless, he's the basically Lord of Dreams. And he's um how I would have described him, he's like he's a um a parallel to a human being. He's he's not he's very different. You can just see he doesn't expose, he's very he doesn't uh, he's just very you just know he's unhuman but he's a very interesting character to watch as we see him like traveling through the different centuries of humanity and there's some other great characters in there we get to explore different characters in the show so from the trailers if you've seen them we've seen um Joanna Constantine who is I believe is related, of course, to um, John Constantine for the DC Comics as well. And from Hellblazer, I think, yeah. Well, she's a, she's really interesting. And the actress who play her, I know her from Doctor Who, so I really I really like her now. And um, we get to see other characters. Like we get to see some of the family members of the Endless, such as um, Death. And if you haven't seen a clip of her, like a short clip, watch it, she's great. She's a really, really nice character. Then, our character and it's nice to bring this kind of like person like um perspective of like death into the show and oh there's a villain called like um Corinthian the Corinthian sorry and yeah he's a very good villain oh god you just if if you like the great villains such as like Loki or like someone a bit sinister, like, um, you know, like the other mother in Coraline or just like Hannibal Lecter, this is your guy. This guy, um, I'm not going to go deep in this, but let's just say this guy is basically what, he's, what he is, a nightmare. And I, I've heard a lot about him, like, like, search, like research and everything, because I haven't read the comics, but I, I was really intrigued about the stories in it. So, yeah, I, I just really got into it. And there were so many other different characters in this, and it all mixed well together. Like, each one, each episode, we get to see a few great characters. Some don't last long than just two episodes, but some each come in their own time. Like, some come at early episode one to two, then some from three to six, and then goes on and on. It's, each, char each character has a fair share in the show. The CGI in the show is fantastic. Because as you know, in Lucifer, we get to see different, uh, we get to see the locations of like heaven and hell. In this version, it's completely different. This, um, if you see in the photos, this hell is, very hellfiery and yeah it's great and and the other bit the dreaming 
is fantastic as well. This is basically like the place of dreams. It's so creative, so imaginative. It's amazing. And the story in this is, it is interesting. Like seeing this kind of different character, because like I said, Morpheus is not human. This is a very inhuman character. He's different, he's complex. And we get to see him travel through and see like how he involve it throughout the show. And we can see his responsibilities as the dream lord and it's very it's it is fascinating because um neil does this very interesting way of like creating a character that isn't human but and we're so instantly attracted to just someone who is so different and we just we just fall for him just just like fall for his story his background his his interest just the way he is this character who's so different and it's it's just really it's, it's just I mean, it's just really good. I don't know what to say because this show is a good it's a, it takes a good journey for us for us to see, and it's just it's just really interesting. Um, one thing I did like about the show, I'm not going to bring any spoilers, but there are some links to like some of the mythical stories, you know, like some bits from the Bible and some from other mythology, and. Yeah, it's really interesting because because again this is Neil trying to put in like some myths and like fantasy into um reality and he does it really well he just blends them in all together like brilliantly and and this is why I think people are really adored about the Sandman because this as he, I think this is I think he said this before because the Sandman I think it was ahead of his own time back when he created the comics and he was right. This was something. If I was reading this in like, be like early like nineties or something, I would just think, "Wow, where did that come from?" Like they're all. It's just so, so sci-fi. So like, few alternate future life. It's just really great. It's so very uh, again creative. This is a very creative show. It takes our imagination to life. It it shows us what dreams can do in our in our world if they really come true it's it's interesting one thing i could comment because i don't want to be too negative on it but the one thing is that i feel like the story was a bit slow in its pace i'm not saying it wasn't bad or bad thing because i get it like you need to upbuild up build, um, a story but i feel like in some parts the, the story was a bit slow. I'm not going to spoil anything, but that's my share on the show. But yeah, it is quite, it, it's just, it does get, still gets you very intrigued about what could happen next or what, like, what it's going to be about and everything. Because each story, each episode has its own kind of story. And, but it just feels like it just, each one has to, like, come up just needs to build up to like the the climax of the story. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy my non-spoiler review. If you want to see my others review with the spoilers, uh, please check it out. And before you leave, please make sure you like, subscribe and hit that notification bell down below. Check, leave a comment, leave a comment about the show, about your thoughts on the Sandman, who's your favorite character and um, yeah, what was your favorite part about the show? And please, please follow us on our social Insta on our social accounts such as Instagram, Twitter, and check our website as well. It has information about the debate. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.